What the hell happened to Nokia? In 2011, they had eight megapixels. In 2012, they had 41 megapixels. And in 2022, 0.3. <laughs> I've been using the Express Audio 5710 and this is quite possibly the most disappointing phone I've ever used because it was actually a pretty good idea but just executed terribly. It's a music orientated phone with built in headphones. I mean how cool an idea is that? It could have been a modern interpretation of an iPod. It could have been amazing but it simply isn't. Not only is it basically the same hardware as the 3310 Revival five years ago but the earphones sound absolutely awful and there isn't even a Spotify app. It's got Facebook and 4G data speeds but no Spotify which is so silly. In fact it doesn't have any music streaming services at all. All you've got for music streaming is literally the radio. <laughs> Nokia in the past was also known for having amazing cameras such as on the 808 PureView and Lumia 1020 with their relationship with Carl Zeiss. But on this, you are literally limited to a VGA camera, which is what you got on a phone from 2005. Now I'm not expecting flagship level specs here, but at least give us something from the previous decade and not two decades ago. Nokia has all the ingredients to make a great music orientated feature phone. They could have added Spotify and KaiOS for instance, but once again, they just didn't bother. 